how do you feel after that, that there was a pretty intense hit there towards the end of regulation time on, on you there? I feel great. Yeah, I enjoy a little contact here and there. What, what's a game like this like when there's an impact player like Mitch who's not available and kind of everything kind of has to kind of get shuffled around at the, the last second? Yeah, I mean, Mitch is such a huge part of our team. Everybody knows that. And um, anytime he's out of the lineup, it's, it's huge. But it's also a huge opportunity for guys to step up. And, you know, had some adversity there, three kind of fluky goals. And we battled back to force overtime and, and a shootout. And um, it's proud of the way the guys battled for the whole night. When those goals are going in early and, and they're up, are you able to compartmentalize, well, those are bounces, so it's nothing I can do, kind of get right back into the game and all the stuff that you had been working on? Mindset. Yeah, I felt really good. I mean, I thought I was pretty dialed in all night. They just kind of got a couple fortunate bounces, and that's part of hockey. 82 games in a year, you're going to have some of those nights. And just focused on the next shot, and, um, you know, we were able to uh, get a point. But, you know, obviously I expect myself to make some saves in the shootout for sure. Well, that is a first shootout. I mean, there, there were times you guys were practicing it, but not a lot of time was spent on it. Called overtime after it's kind of like a tie in that regard because it really can go either way. Are you trying to prepare for anything like that? Yeah, I'll be working on it, that's for sure. Just just like one on one shots asking for players like, for yeah. that session? Or? Yeah, um, whoever I can get out there, and I mean, the guys like to do it, so I'll be uh, definitely working on the shootout.